Do you know, uh, many people claim that chill mode reduces energy consumption when you are driving. Uh, well, so, hmm, does it really do that? So, yes, I wanted to find out. So, today I went to this place near Klöfta uh, to do a test and um, it was very important that, you know, the start point, uh, a start and ending point is the same same point. Uh, so, I, I drive from one place to a roundabout and then go back again. So, then I don't have any uh, wind advantage, I don't have any uh, elevation advantage. And uh, actually, I was able to get pretty consistent results. So, uh, for some reason, the first run was slightly higher than the other ones. Uh, that could be because, um, you know, uh, it actually takes a very long time before you get, like, when you get, uh, like, even results. Uh, the car was probably not warm enough, but uh, at least for the other tests, you know, uh, it was getting more consistent. So, um, so I did the first run. And it was kind of high. Uh, well, I don't know why the consumption is so high. You know, it's winter. I have studded tires, uh, all that stuff. Um, but on on the, the second run, I got a little lower consumption. But you see, I still cruise at 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, try to get as as consistent results as possible. And then in the third run, uh, I was getting 273. So you know, very equal. Like. The, the result here is just natural variation. They, there was some traffic, you know, uh, stuff like that, and I'm, yeah, I, but it's pretty consistent, I have to say, yeah. Um, so that was with ludicrous mode on, because I always drive with ludicrous on. Why, why, why would you switch it off if you have ludicrous, right? Um, but at least uh, for the fourth test, I switch on chill mode. And uh, the good result? <laughs> no difference in consumption. So I was like, okay, I, I was expecting it. So I did another run, the fifth run. Uh, the result was actually slightly higher than some of the other ones. And that could again be natural variation in traffic or whatever. Yeah, uh, well, okay, there is one other theory is that um, uh, as I do the test, you know, the state of charge drops, the voltage drops, and then uh, the consumption might increase slightly because you have to, uh, you have to, uh, because the voltage drops, then, you know, the current has to go up. Yeah, it's stuff, I'm not going to go into too much detail there. But at least this proves that um, at highway speed, as long as you're doing, you know, you're not accelerating too hard, then uh, chill mode uh, doesn't make any difference in consumption. Uh, so there were some uphill and downhill or whatever, but uh, the most of the time, you know, the highest power up was around 100 kilowatt, and that is not too too high, because uh, with chill mode, the the maximum out power like a power output is restricted to about 200 kilowatt, whereas uh, in ludicrous mode, you can go like 450 kilowatt or something. Uh, but again, you know, that doesn't make any difference in this test. So maybe if I did a test in the city, let's say I draw around, uh, you know, at stoplights, roundabout or whatever, then I might get a better result with chill mode, but uh, it's harder to, uh, to reproduce you know the same result every time because you have more variation in in traffic and everything um, but as at lo I mean at least when I did all the tests now I, I couldn't find a difference in consumption and you know I, I guess okay if you accelerate really hard uh, with ludicrous uh, then yes you will have like significant uh, heat loss whereas if you have chill mode then you know it is restrict restricted right uh, but on the other hand, I mean, if you want to accelerate hard, then you probably don't care too much about uh, consumption anyway. And even if you use, um, if you if you are in ludicrous mode and you only accelerate, uh, like you you accelerate 200 kilowatt, right, which is about the maximum for chill mode, then then the result should be the same anyway. So, at least for me. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to find a use for chill mode, but um, at least for me, it doesn't make sense for me to use chill mode. The only time it makes sense to use chill mode is at stop and go traffic with autopilot when you use adaptive cruise control. Um, the the sport or ludicrous mode is like too, I don't know, it's too hard. Like it will accelerate too hard and then brake too hard, uh, whereas chill mode makes it smoother. Yeah. 
So, um, well, I don't know uh, what else I should test, but uh, at least for me, chill mode uh, doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's it for now. Then uh, thank you guys for watching, and talk to you later.